Well, it's Casual Friday here at Cyber Vista while we're filming. So we got a great Quintana for you in store. Stop. stop. What is going on? Just stop. What? Hijack. Hijack. M money trees. Got Welcome to the Stan Show. Quitna has officially been canceled due to low ratings. Today, we're going to be talking about session hijacking. So, what is a session hijacking attack? A session hijack is a process where an attacker inserts themselves into an existing communication session between two computers. Now, there are a number of different types of session hijacking attacks. Today, we're going to focus on one of these types of attacks, sequence number prediction. Now, as you would expect, this type of attack is going to center around sequence numbers. So what exactly is a sequence number? Each packet leaving a sending computer is assigned a unique sequence number. Now let's draw this on the board. Here is the client computer. Here is the server. Here are the packets going towards the server. And this will be assigned to sequence number n, n plus 1, n plus 2, etc. Now, these sequence numbers allow the receiving computer to track incoming packets and reassemble them into a logical stream of data. A sequence number prediction attack typically occurs in five steps. First, an attacker has to locate a target. When choosing a target, hackers generally look for two things. High volume networks, which help the attacker remain anonymous, and insecure network protocols, such as Telnet or FTP. Packet sniffing and port scanning software can be used to identify these kinds of vulnerabilities. A second, the attacker finds an active session. Hackers use software tools such as Wireshark or T-Site to spot these active sessions. Once the target and session have been selected, the hacker is ready to move on to step three, sequence number prediction. This involves uh, guessing the next sequence number that a server is expecting from a workstation. Hackers can do this in one of two ways, manually or with certain software tools, which automate the process. TCP IP sequence numbers are 32-bit numbers. This means that there are 4 million possible combinations for each sequence number. Most modern operating systems use random number generators that produce complex sequence numbers that are extremely difficult to guess. However, older operating systems do not provide sufficient random number generation, making these types of systems more vulnerable to these types of attacks. Fourth, the attacker takes the client computer offline. There are a number of ways to do this, but the most common method is a, through a denial of service attack. Now, silencing the workstation computer is crucial because if the client computer remains online, it will begin transmitting data on the network, causing the workstation and server to repeatedly attempt to synchronize their connections, uh, or what is known as an axe storm. Fifth and finally, the hacker hijacks the session. The attacker will spoof their client IP address to avoid detection and include a sequence number that was predicted earlier. If the server accepts this information, the hacker has successfully hijacked the session. The attacker should now have access to the network with the same permissions as the compromised user. So there you have it. That is sequence number prediction. Uh, we'll be back next week at the Stan Show or Quitna or whatever we're calling it then. Hijack, hijack, M money trees, got all that. Talk, talk, smack, get your head cracked.